Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining steps for the projections of planes. So it is really very important to understand the steps to solve the problems related to the projection of planes. So see carefully the whole video. So definitely you can solve any one problems in the examination. So let's start with the procedure for the projections of plane. So basically there are three steps or you can see the stages for each problem from the projection of planes. So you can say in another word the each problem from the projection of plane can be solved in maximum three stages. So let's see in the first stage you have to assume suitable conditions that means the plane is parallel to HP or parallel to VP. And according to that, you have to draw the front view and top view for the initial position. So in short, we can say in the first stage, you have to assume the plane is either parallel to HP or parallel to VP. Next, in second stage, you have to consider the surface inclination. That means the plane or you can say the surface is either inclined to HP or inclined to VP. And based on that, you have to draw the front view and top view in the second stage. And in the last stage, that means in the third stage, you have to consider the side or age inclination that is the remaining. That means if you assume in the second stage, the plane is parallel to HP, then the remaining angle is inclined to VP for the third stage. If in the second stage, you have assumed the surface inclination to VP, then in third stage, remaining inclination is inclined to HP. And according to that, you have to draw the front view and top view in the third stage. Now look at this step again. In the first stage, you have to assume the plane is parallel to HP or parallel to VP. But how you can decide from these two options? So let's see one by one all these three stages. So let's start from the step number one. Assumptions for the initial position in step number one. So if corner or edge on the HP that is given to you in the description. So at that time you have to assume the plane is parallel to HP. And so that you have to start with the top view. Because of if you have assumed the plane is parallel to HP, then you can see in the top view the true shape of the plane. And so that you have to start with the top view in first stage. Because of in the top view you can see the true shape of the plane. Now vice versa, that means if the corner or edge on the VP instead of HP, then you have to assume the plane is parallel to VP. And so that you have to start with the front view. Because of if the plane is parallel to VP, then you can see the true shape of the plane in the front view. And so that you have to start with the true shape, that means with the front view. While drawing the true shape, once again very important point, keep one side or edge that is given to you either on HP or on VP must be perpendicular to XY line. So that also we will discuss with the help of the problem so that exactly you can understand the step number one. Now consider this problem. A rectangle 30 mm by 50 mm side is resting on HP. So keep in mind that here the word is important. Here the side is resting on HP. That means the edge on the HP so that you have to assume the plane is parallel to HP for this problem. So your plane must be parallel to HP like this. If you assume like this plane then it is considered as a parallel to VP. So this assumption for this case if the corner or edge on the VP then you have to assume the plane is parallel to VP. But for this problem it is resting on HP that means you have to assume the plane is parallel to HP. And so that you can see the top view and front view like this. This is actually the solution of this problem. But here we are going to focus on this first stage only because of we are going to discuss the step number one. So here you can see the top view that is the rectangle that is below XY and front view is the line. 
So this is the first stage for this problem. Now see the second step or you can say second stage. Make surface inclination either with respect to HP or with respect to VP. So once again consider this problem. Here it is given to you. Surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with HP. So surface inclination is given to you with the HP. So this is the first stage that already we have discussed. Now in second stage, surface is inclined to HP. So keep in mind that if you assume in the first stage surface is parallel to VP, then in second stage it must be inclined to HP. So in the second stage, it must be inclined to HP. So it is like this. And so that you can understand the front view is straight line and top view is the rectangle. But this rectangle is a little bit shorter than this one. So here you can see also. So this is about the second stage. Now stage number three or you can say step number three. Make side inclination to the respective plane that means the remaining plane and projects its other view. So look at once again the same problem. So already we have discussed the first stage, second stage that is inclined to HP. So that the remaining inclination that means it is inclined to VP. But keep in mind that here side inclination is given to you. That means the side of the surface that is inclined to VP. So here you can see. So very simple, in case of the projection of plane, in the first stage you have to assume the plane is either parallel to VP or parallel to HP. In the second stage, surface is inclined to HP or VP and in third stage, side of the plane that is inclined to the VP or HP. So here we have started with the top view because of in the top view you can see the true shape. So always in the first stage your drawing must be start with the top view and then you have to draw the front view. So your sequence must be like this. First draw the top view then front view and then replace it over here. Replace that means whatever it may be the shape here you have to transfer it only. Then you have to draw this view by using the projection that means vertical projection and horizontal projection. Then you have to replace it over here. That means once again the shape should not be deformed. Then draw the vertical projection and horizontal projection so that you will get this one. So the sequence is like as a square waveform. So in the examination you, you must follow this sequence. That means if you have started with the top view, then your end must be with the front view. So remember this sequence. Now if the plane in the first stage is parallel to VP like this, then your true shape must be in the front view. So that you have to start with the front view first and then you can draw the top view and so that you have to follow like this sequence. So once again, it is the square waveform. So if you start with the front view, then your end must be with the top view. So keep in mind that always you have to follow the square waveform. Either you can assume in the first stage parallel to HP or parallel to VP. So this sequence must be following the examination for each problem from the projection of plane. Now see the summary of the steps or you can see the stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3 for your revision. So you have to remember these steps. Now at last, is it really helpful to understand the procedure for the projection of plane? Write your answer in the comment box. If you have any question, then you can write in the comment box also. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.